Now to the picture and name you first saw on Channel 2 this morning, Laporte firefighter Blake Stevens accused of driving drunk and slamming into a little boy's bedroom. Good morning and thank you for joining us. I'm Jennifer Reyna and I'm Sarah Donchi. Stevens was arrested shortly after the crash on Shady Lane just off Old State Highway 146. Channel 2's Kathy Hernandez joining us live from Laporte where she spoke with a homeowner and Kathy, it is incredibly lucky that nobody was in that bedroom at the time of the crash. That's exactly right, but for now, back here at the police station, Blake Stevens is charged with DWI and unlawfully carrying a weapon. His bond is set at $1,500. He, at any minute now, could be released here from the Laporte Police Department. And back at the crash site, a family is very thankful. You know, right here, that's my son's bed. So. This could have been a whole lot worse. I'm actually, I feel very blessed. A family comes back to their Laporte home, partly in ruins. You know, my son, he, uh, he asked to sleep with my other, my other son uh, last night, and, and I'm really glad he did, because otherwise he'd have been sleeping, you know, in that bed. He is six-year-old Xander. Only 30 minutes later, police say volunteer firefighter Blake Stevens lost control and hit the home on North Shady Lane, right into Xander's bedroom. It sounded like the house was kind of blowing up. Glenn Lidblade's family was inside, and he came out to a truck in his kitchen and son's bedroom. Stevens was standing nearby. I came out very angry, uh, and so I, I approached him, and he's like, you know, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Police say Stevens smelled like alcohol and admitted to drinking. At his home, friends say Stevens won Firefighter of the Year for the LaPorte Fire Department last year. And Tuesday night, they say he was headed to help with another fire. And last night, I did hear that the, the alarm go off and he was out. He was out as quick as he could be. So he tries really hard to make an impact on the community. So he's a really, since I've known him, he's a really hardworking guy. And city leaders tell us it's against policy for anyone to report, report to a fire intoxicated. For now, Stevens is suspended indefinitely from the fire department. The fire chief says he's shocked by these allegations. Reporting live in LaPorte, Kathy Hernandez, KPRC, Channel 2 News.